My name is Maurice Ekwong. According to Shimon Peretz, the former president of Israel, people prefer remembering to imagining. Memory deals with the familiar, what you are accustomed to. Imagination, on the other hand, deals with the unfamiliar. Imagination, no doubt, can be frightening because it demands a departure from the familiar to the unfamiliar. Nigeria's story since 1960 has been a mix of good, bad, and ugly. There have been times where we have rejoiced together as a nation, and many other times, unfortunately, where we have mourned together. The memory of the hurts and the failures of the past continue to linger to this present day in 2020. Not because of the failures of any one particular regime, but because of the cumulative failures of leadership since 1960 to date. Nigeria is presently number three on the Global Terrorism Index for 2019. Nigeria is 146 out of 180 on the Corruption Perception Index for 2019. Nigeria is currently the poverty capital of the world. Nigeria ranked 93 out of 117 countries on the Global Hunger Index, leaving the hunger level in the country as critical. And many other negatives and positives that we are all familiar with. The challenge before us is to begin to ask ourselves the right questions that will move us from a group memory as a nation to a group imagination of what is possible. To excite our imagination a little bit, I believe we must as a nation begin to ask ourselves questions. Like, how do we build an inclusive nation that allows every person, every group in the ecosystem to exhale? How do we fuse together our beautiful diversity to match in sync towards the same vision and goal as a people with one heartbeat? How do we take advantage of the humongous resources, human and material, that the Creator has availed us as a people for the benefit of present and future generations. These are some of the questions we must begin to answer. We must begin to ask ourselves. These questions are particularly important when you consider the fact that we're all in an ecosystem. So what affects the Fulani man or the man from Tiv, or the man from, or the, 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 the Yoruba man, or the Mbube man, or the Jo man, or the Igbo man, affects everybody else. We are in an ecosystem, so an imbalance in one particular sphere affects the entire whole. It is my considered opinion 
that out of the repertoire of many things that we can bring to the table to move Nigeria from memory to imagination are three important components. The first is truth. We must face the brutal fact that we are headed towards a brick wall as a people. The second factor is collaboration. We must begin to put our best foot forward as a people and put behind cronyism, nepotism, tribalism, and so on and so forth. Because in my estimation, the gatekeepers of corruption in Nigeria have been religion, tribalism, and nepotism. Take these three things away and corruption will die naturally. The final thing that I believe that we can bring to the table to move us to our imaginative future is innovation and entrepreneurship. There are corollaries, of course, in history. Even though Nigeria has arguably one of the largest deposits of, um, of natural resources in the world, there have been challenges managing those resources. But there are countries that have built from scratch with zero natural resource. Countries like Singapore that moved from extreme poverty and deprivation in the 1960s as a contemporary of Nigeria at independence to a first world nation that it is today. A country like Japan shattered completely by the Second World War, built itself from the scratch, without natural resource, but with innovation and entrepreneurship. They are one of the biggest economies in the world today, and they have been for decades, and so on and so forth. The type of entrepreneurship that must be encouraged in this season is one that creates entirely new industries by sheer innovation and imagination of our youth. So if anything at all, this is, there is no time for In, for government to clamp down on, on, on freedoms of the people. As a matter of fact, if you look at the story of Israel, Israel has in its culture the promotion of, of constructive dissent. where people can air their misgivings about government, where people can air their views about what they think um, the society, what direction they believe the society should be moving towards. And this has engendered innovation and entrepreneurship to the point where Israel has the highest number of startups per capita on the planet. If you look at that 
vis-a-vis -vis the size of the nation state of Israel, you'd realize how improbable the feat that they have achieved in virtually all sectors is. Truth. Let's face the brutal facts. We are not heading in the right direction. Collaboration. We need everybody from our 250 plus ethnic groups to put Nigeria on the path of peace, prosperity, and progress like our founding fathers imagined. Innovation and entrepreneurship, where we tap into the mind of the Nigerian. That's where the resource is, not in the mines in Zamfara, not in the oil deposits of South South Nigeria. The resource of Nigeria, the greatest resource of Nigeria is in the mind of the Nigerian. How can we convert the energies of the Nigerian youth to productive uses? In closing, I believe that as a people, we must learn from nature. The story was reported in 2015 of ants that formed a raft to, to survive the massive flood in South Carolina that destroyed hundreds of homes, hundreds of businesses, and led to the loss of dozens of lives. These ants created a raft and were seen floating on the flood waters that destroyed human beings and everything they possessed. In a time of extreme challenges and existential threats as we face today, is it not better for us as a people to come together collaboratively to solve our collective problems? I think it is. I'm counting on us to put our hands together, be our brother's keeper, and make Nigeria the great country that she is destined to become, not just for us, but for our future generations. Thank you and catch you.